Um, this is my PowerPoint that I did when I was pitching the official idea of getting a dog to my parents. Let's see, 17 slides long. And I think that really sold it because two months later, we went to Toronto Humane Society and we got Cleo. So this is my mom, Saye. Uh, this is my dad, Andy, and this is Cleo. I've always kind of wanted a dog. It's always been that feeling inside of me. When Mina said, we need, you know, we need to get a dog, and so we said, okay. Um, well, not, you, not immediately. Not immediately. Not imme like, no, it was, it was a year-long year, year long campaign. It started out by saying, you know, well, you need to show us that you're responsible. And she said, what do I have to do? Ah. Like, do your own laundry and... And that was a we'd great milk list. it as much as we could. <laughs> we didn't just go in and randomly pick a dog. Like we actually sat down and had a whole list of criteria of what should our yeah, future we had dog like a, be. A, a word, like we a, a word Microsoft word about that. it. Yeah. So we were walking through the Humane Society, and they said, "You know, did you take a look at Cleo?" And they brought her into a room and. She was so shy and so quiet, but very friendly, and we took turns holding her, and it just felt right. I don't know what it was, but she felt like she belonged with us. That was one of the first pictures when we were visiting. So you just went to her lap and just sat there Just sat, quietly. like what so she's doing now. That's such lovely dog, we, we cannot not have her. We certainly were like we were walking the dog together. In a sense, it's not just bringing the family together, it's also exercising <laughs> for the entire family because of Cleo. My mom has been going through this phase of like saying things like, like, oh, that's in the hood, like we only say this in the hood. <laughs> I am mm -mm. so with the times. No. It's so, no. when people see the small dog walking with three grown people, at least three grown, people behind her, it just is so impressive. They're like, wow, this dog has her own entourage. And she's like, guys, this is like dog entourage, a dog entourage. It is so catchy. It is a whole new sensation. It takes bonding to a whole new level. If you have a large group of people following a small dog, now you don't wonder, it's like, are those people bored? Do they have nothing better to do? They, you know that they are part of a bigger thing, a dog entourage. <laughs> it is so catchy. Cleo has changed our lives in so many ways. Mm -hmm. I think she has brought us closer as a family in that sense that we're, we're always um, doing stuff and Cleo's a part of it and she's right there. Pets cannot speak for themselves. It's a good cause that like, people who actually adopt pets um, has a voice for the pet and that this is a good, this is a good thing for people to adopt and they could get a lot of joy out of this. I'm glad that shelter animals are getting the recognition they deserve and uh, kudos to Royale for highlighting the joy that you can get from adopting shelter pets. There are over 100,000 pets still awaiting adoption. The Home for Every Pet project has partnered with animal shelters across Canada to pair animals with loving homes. Help us find a home for every pet.